in this video, we are touring two of Dallas's top neighborhoods. So if you wanna see the very best that Dallas has to offer, stay tuned. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Dallas, Texas, or really any of its many suburbs, including where we are today, which is Highland Park, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that little bell. We've been in the business since 2007. We're a family brokerage. And today we wanted to take you on a tour through two of Dallas's most affluent cities. That's right, I'm talking about Highland Park and University Park. And would you believe that in Highland Park, we're talking about the most affluent city in all of Texas. It's got great public schools. You know what, and the property taxes really aren't even that high, but then again, they don't have to be when you're talking about multi-million dollar properties, right? Anyway, so where are we? Well, we are just above downtown Dallas, okay? On one side of us is I-75, and on the other is the Dallas Tollway. So if you can kind of picture that general area there. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, though. Let's go take a look and see what Highland Park has to offer. Let's go. Well, we are out here at our first stop. We're over at Highland Park, which is the most affluent city in all of Texas homes here sell on an average of $587 a square foot. You're gonna find that sold price is somewhere around $2,204,000. So as you're driving through, you can definitely see just the beauty of the architecture. Every lot is just impeccably maintained. There's so much pride and ownership here. You know, Highland Park is its own cities and as such, has its own school system, has its own fire department, police department, uh, very nice. And as you drive by, you're gonna be like, that is the fanciest police station I have ever seen. <laughs> well, a lot of the architecture here has like a Spanish inspiration and influence to it. Lots of mature trees, broad tree-lined steep streets. In fact, I'll tell you, at Christmas time, so many people will be out here in horse-drawn wagons checking out the Christmas lights. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know what? We are no exception. This is like a yearly thing for us. We, we round up our six kiddos and all our grandkids and we take a ride through Highland Village. It's a tradition. Uh, so anyway, this home behind me though, listed for 4,250,000, which is priced at around $618 a square foot. Absolutely has all the bells and whistles. You know, obviously that's a little overpriced for what we said the average sold price was, which is in the 2 million price range, but you know what? It's got the bells and whistles to support it. It has a game room, library completely fixed up, the most elegant winding staircase you're ever gonna lay your eyes on. It's also got a pool in the back, beautiful outdoor fireplace. So anyway, Highland Park, beautiful area. We're gonna take you through now and show you some of that video footage, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree. And then after that, we're gonna go take a look at University Park. And you're gonna see that between the two, Highland Park is the more affluent, and it's also the more quiet of the two because University Park is gonna be right next to SMU. You're gonna see a lot of students walking by. So yeah, Highland Park, the more affluent of the two. University Park, also gorgeous, but a little busier. Anyway, without further ado, I am excited to show you this neighborhood. So let's go take a look. University Park has a very distinctive architecture. It was formed based around and on Southern Methodist University. And so you're gonna see that older style, very unique architecture where no two homes are alike. They're all gonna look very different and they're all gonna look very stately. Uh, homes here were built anywhere from 1924 <laughs> all the way up to 2022. So there's still some new construction going on. A lot of times they'll tear down, you know, an older home and then rebuild on it. So it's a beautiful area. You know, as you can imagine, homes are pretty pricey. You know, the pr median price per square foot for homes in this area is about 440. 
$440 a square foot, median sales price right about $1,784,000. Public schools, of course, are A-plus rated. In fact, they're the number three best public school in the state. Population here in University Park, at around 25,000. Anyway, this home here behind me is listed for 1,580,000. You know, and, and we talked about that median home price being 1,784,000. So you can see that this home is a great deal. It's listed at about $328 a square foot. And again, the median sales price in this area is $440 a square foot. So absolutely an excellent deal on this one. It was built in 1979, beautifully updated Corian countertops with a stunning black granite island. It has warming drawer, just really all the bells and whistles you can imagine and at a fantastic price. So listen, I really wanna give you a flavor of what you're gonna see here in University Park. So I'm gonna drive around, get you a little bit of footage, and then we're gonna move on. So let's go. We are out here at Lakeside Park wrapping up our vlog tour. And you know, I can't think of a more beautiful place to wrap up our afternoon because this area is 14 acres of incredibly immaculate landscaping. You can see right over here to the side, just these beautiful flowers. I am telling you, this is a visual feast. <laughs> so today we toured Highland Park and we toured University Park and we saw that Highland Park really was the more affluent of the two areas. University Park had that beautiful SMU inspired architecture and a lot of students there. Anyway, was this information helpful? I hope it was. If it was, the next best thing you can do is head on over to my channel, check out a few more videos, right? And listen, if you have a move in your future, and you like the idea of our family helping yours, definitely reach out to us. You're welcome to give us a call, send us an email, drop us a text, really any of those ways work. In the meantime, listen, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.